Xbox tried to reach for the stars by buying everything. And it looks like they instead shot themselves in the foot. Let's get into the video. What is up guys, it's your boy Hercules and we are back with another video. That is right, Xbox tried to reach for the stars. Xbox tried to buy everything in the books and it looks like they instead shot themselves right in the foot, spending nearly, nearly $100 billion on multiple studios like Bethesda and Activision Blizzard. But guess what happens? When you buy these companies for so much money, you have to make profit. And it looks like Bethesda hasn't been able to make a profit. In turn, Microsoft has failed to make profit because when you spend a hundred billion dollars, it doesn't matter that you make 21 billion every year, you are still in the negative, even if you are a trillion dollar company. It still doesn't matter. Companies don't want to be in the negative. They always want to be on the positive. And Microsoft has now come in and it looks like there is a major battle between Microsoft and the Xbox division. Now, if you don't know, the Xbox division is just like a side hustle for Microsoft. It's just for them to put out hardware. They don't really care. It for them it didn't it never matter if Xbox was never profitable. They didn't care because it was just it was like the like the women's NBA. The M, the men's NBA made so much money that they were able to keep the WNBA from ever going out of business. But when you start to spend so much money out of nowhere, well guess what? Now you got to make profit. Now we got to see the money return. When you buy something, you need something to make the return real fast. And Bethesda, Activision, Blizzard, all those games, all those studios hasn't been able to make the money back. And I think it's because of Xbox Game Pass. When you put all your marbles in, into a Netflix subscription, you shoot yourself in the leg. You're giving these players everything. Look, I think Game Pass is a phenomenal deal. I just hope Xbox has better games, but it's a phenomenal deal for the player, for the consumer, for the customer. But it's hurting Xbox at the same time because when you're putting your games out there day one, well, guess what? Nobody's going to go buy your game. And maybe there'll be a couple people that'll play it on Game Pass and maybe they go buy it. But do you, is that really a smart thing to do if you are the customer? Is that a smart thing to do? What I would do is I'll play it on Game Pass, see if I like it. And then whenever it's like a discount bin at GameStop or Walmart, then I'll buy it. But right there, guess who's losing money? Microsoft and xbox and even walmart they're all losing money right there so it becomes a big hassle guess why walmart is taking away all the physical copies of xbox because they fucking don't sell any this is xbox major problem xbox needs to go in there i don't care that you make so much fucking money from uh, Microsoft, I don't care that you're a trillion dollar company, you are killing your own division with Game Pass. Game Pass is the number one kryptonite for Xbox and Microsoft. They need to fix this, they need to do something because whatever they're doing isn't working with Game Pass. Not only did Microsoft has come in and shut down multiple studios from Bethesda studios that people love it's it's just crazy man uh Microsoft is basically trying to cause 
Xbox was trying to become the Netflix of gaming, and now Game Pass could be on the brink of a price increase. At the end of the day, Xbox did this to themselves. The only people you can blame is the Xbox leadership and the Xbox fans because they said this was great for business. They said this is what needed to happen. And at the end of the day, it's been proven it's not best for business. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. I just leveled up at the